is Paragard a scam? No, it's not a scam. It's a real herbal supplement and it works pretty well. But can it actually get rid of a parasite infection? The short answer is yes, but it depends on the type of parasites you have. So let's take a closer look. Peace, my name is Noman and welcome to the Healing is Holistic community where we learn to master our well-being. This is Paragard. It's a herbal supplement that's supposed to kill off the bad bugs in your gut. The question is, can it actually get rid of a parasite infection? Well, to answer that question, there's a couple things that we need to learn first. But make sure you watch till the end of the video because I'm going to show you the best herb for killing off parasitic worms by far. So first of all, there's three different types of parasites. The first type is called helminths, which just means worms. The second type is called protozoa. And protozoa are very tiny single-celled organisms that are microscopic, so you can't really see them with your naked eyes. The third type is called ectoparasites, and those are parasites that live on you rather than inside you. Now, most people who are thinking of doing a parasite cleanse, they're only thinking about worms, but you should also consider protozoa because even though they're very tiny, they can be just as harmful, if not worse, than worms. So keep that in mind. Now, there's a lot of different species of worms and a lot of different species of protozoa. And each herb is only effective against a certain number of species. So that means there's no one herb that's going to kill every single worm and every single protozoa out there. Okay, I've studied herbs and I've studied parasites for a long time. That's not how it works. Um, so when you combine herbs together, you're increasing the chances that one or more of those herbs is just going to happen to be effective against the parasite species that you have inside of you. And that's why I think Paragard is effective because it combines a bunch of anti-parasitic herbs together, which increases your chances of killing your parasite infection. And for most people, I think Paragard will be enough to kill off their parasite infection uh, if they follow the right diet and the right protocol. I'll put a few links in the description below where you can order it online. It has instructions on here on how much to take and for different age groups, so that's really nice. Um, I'll zoom in on this so you can see properly. I've noticed some people say they don't like the taste of this, but to be honest, I don't mind the taste at all. Like, I would just take it straight without diluting it in water or anything. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. <laughs> Another thing I really like about this is the amount that they put in here. So they have 4 ounces or 118 milliliters. So it's really nice because it'll last you like the full month. Uh, I did a full 1 month cleanse. And I'm pretty sure this lasted me the full month. The other ones, I find they're like half the size of this. And then you have to order another one. And I don't like that. By the way, this also comes in a capsule form. So if you have acid reflux, for example, you might want to get the capsule one instead. The capsule one, it's not going to irritate your esophagus. It's just going to go straight to your stomach. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're taking this, uh, you might experience something called die-off symptoms. It just means detox symptoms, okay? So you might feel a little bit tired on some days of the cleanse. You might get a bit of a headache. Uh, some days you might feel a bit constipated or upset stomach and it's expected because as you're killing off the parasites and the fungus and bacteria, uh, they release toxins as they're dying and these toxins are what causes these die-off symptoms. Now like I mentioned, I'm going to tell you the best herb for killing parasitic worms and this herb, it's not very well known. Uh, it's called Mimosa pudica but it's also known as the shy plant or the touch me not plant because the leaves of this plant, it actually folds up when you touch it. And scientists, I think they still can't explain why. But anyways, the seeds of this plant is what's used to kill off the parasites. And that's because when you mix water with the seeds, it actually turns into the sticky substance. When you take the capsule with a glass of water, that sticky substance sticks to the worms, kills them, and drags them out of your intestines when you go to the bathroom. If you're getting value from this video so far, then hit that like button to show some support. When I was doing my cleanse, the first two weeks of my cleanse, I was only using Paragard and I didn't see any results. So I ordered the Mimosa Pudica capsules and they arrived. I started taking those and within a few days, I could feel that there was something going on in my stomach and I felt like there was it was almost clogged in my stomach. Then I went to the bathroom and I saw a lot of parasites come out and it was disgusting. And it, it kept coming out over the next few days, uh, especially when I would do an enema. And um, I talk more about that in my protocol video about enemas as well and why they're so important. It seems like Mimosa pudica is effective against most worms, if not all, uh, but not necessarily effective against protozoa. You want to make sure you get a good quality supplement from a reliable company. And that's because there seems to be a lot of fakes out there. And a lot of companies, they seem to fill up their capsules 
with fillers. So I'll put a link in the description for some reliable Mimosa Pudica supplements. If you really want to make sure that you kill off any parasitic infection that you have, the best way to do that is to take both the Paragard and the Mimosa Pudica. Mimosa Pudica is going to kill off the worms and the uh, other one, the Paragard, is going to kill off a lot of the protozoa. And the other benefit is that the Paragard is antibacterial and antifungal. Um, so yeast like candida, for example, lives in your gut. Sometimes the yeast can overgrow, which is candida overgrowth. So the benefit of Paragard is that it's going to kill off any um, candida or fungus overgrowth and any bad bacteria. Now, before we talk about the best protocol for a parasite cleanse, I wanted to mention that I'm currently doing a three-month gut healing program with some clients. So if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can reach out to me and I'll help you figure out what's the root cause of your symptoms and help you heal it holistically, as well as working with your doctor if needed. You need to follow a diet and a protocol. I made a video to explain the whole protocol in a lot of detail for a parasite slash gut cleanse. And this is the most effective protocol that you can follow because it's based on a four step, four R gut healing protocol. This is used by some of the top functional medicine doctors out there. But here's the four R gut healing program, okay? Number one is remove. And that means you have to remove the bad bugs that are in your gut, okay? And that's what the Paragard and the other herb is going to do. The second step is replace, which means you can replace things that your body would need support with, like digestive enzymes or hydrochloric acid, for example. The third step is replenish with probiotics or healthy bacteria. After you're taking out the bad bugs, you're replenishing with good bugs, okay? And the last step is repair, which means you need to repair your gut lining. So that's the four-step gut healing program. It's extremely effective. You can find it here. You can open it in a new tab and watch it once this video is done. Now let's look at some studies that show the anti-parasitic effects of herbs. So this is a study done in the Iranian Journal of Parasitology where they looked at the effects of garlic uh, against the parasite known as e-histo. And they concluded that garlic is effective and that it can inhibit the growth of this protozoa. Now this is a really interesting study where they compared peppermint with albendazole, which is a pharmaceutical drug that's used for parasites. Uh, and they compared them to see which one is more effective against the larva of a parasitic worm uh, called anisakid nematodes. And the results of this study showed that peppermint was more effective than the pharmaceutical drug. The results also showed that large stomach lesions were observed in almost half of the rats treated with the pharmaceutical drug. Stomach lesions are basically damage to the tissue of the stomach. So almost half of the rats treated with the pharmaceutical drug had large stomach lesions, whereas no rats in the peppermint treated group had lesions, none of them. So uh, it tells you that not only was the peppermint more effective at killing the parasites, it was actually safer as well. This was a study done in China that showed that pumpkin seeds were effective against tapeworms. It was even more effective when combined with something called areca nut. This was a smaller study done on oregano oil, and they showed that oregano oil is effective against uh, some protozoan parasites, including Blastocystis hominis. Uh, they also showed that uh, taking oregano oil improved digestive symptoms for a lot of the patients. This was a study done in the Journal of Parasitic Diseases, where they looked at the effect of olive leaf, garlic, a herb called Satyrgia chosestanica, and a pharmaceutical drug called metronidazole. And they compared all of these against a protozoan parasite called Giardia. The results showed that olive leaf had the highest fatality rate against this parasite, followed by the herb Satyrgia chosestanica, and then in third place was the pharmaceutical drug. In this study, they looked at the effects of Artemisia absinthium against parasitic worms in sheep. And Artemisia absinthium is just a scientific name for wormwood. The results of the study showed that wormwood was just as effective as the drug albendazole. Now I want to ask you, have you ever used Paragard or any other anti-parasitic herbs? And if you did, what was your experience? Let me know in the comments and let everyone else know because this is a community and that's how we continue to learn and grow from each other. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the subscribe and the bell button to join the Healing is Holistic community. I'm going to be making videos about gut health, like acid reflux, IBS, bloating, constipation, uh, and skin health. So things like eczema and acne. 
uh, as well as other health issues that you can naturally work on. So if you're interested in that, let me know what topics specifically you want to see a video on and I'll make one on that. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you next time. Peace.